You're gonna talk about One Punch. One Punch. One punch I still haven't <laughs> seen it. <laughs> everyone talks about it too, and everyone's like, "There's something you need to watch." And I'm like, "All right," hey, and okay. I have to try to get time. Huh? Yeah. Okay. If you, if you watch the show, you'll get it. This <laughs> <laughs> is okay. Dot dot dot. Here, here, he's so nonchalant. He's just slow. He's here, slow. Here's the only thing about. I know this. what it's about. Yeah. I know all of what it's about. Okay. Just haven't he, seen it. Here's the thing. You said that you are not a big anime watcher, mm-hmm. or at least you haven't seen a lot. I haven't seen a lot. It's not that I, I don't like it. I like it's anime, just I just seen. don't. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's one of those shows that you you will probably like it, Yeah, but you will like it so much more if you watch, like, yeah. Dragon Ball and Yu Yu yeah. Hakusho. That or even... What'll I've only seen, like, six animes total, probably. Okay. You might it's see fine. What, I mean, what, it's... It, what might end up happening is she might like One Punch mm-hmm. and then not like everything else. <laughs> because it it basically t- it's like a combination of some oh. of the greatest animes, and then they'll make fun of it. Yeah, oh. but so it, then I won't appreciate but, it as much. Exactly. Yeah, like you, you'll probably like it because it's very funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like at how over the top it is. Exactly. But you'll be like, I don't understand. Like it'd be like, I get it, it's funny. But then like you'll have like you know you said Brandon watched it or one of us, so it'll be dying because of how yeah. like yeah. ridiculous. That it or gets. if you go and try and like follow that with like like Dragon Ball Z for example, mm-hmm. then you're like. This is just this is too fucking this long. This is like way too serious. Why is this all so right. serious? All right, so I would actually have a list on my Netflix of animes I need to watch. So I'm going to watch all of those okay. first, mm. then One Punch, and then maybe I'll appreciate it more. The only okay. thing I, I think that it hasn't like really started to make fun of is like maybe something like a Full Metal Alchemist or something like that. Just because it's, it's a different genre. Yeah, because it's, like it's definitely fun of the shonen yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. So how would it be a good video game? Yeah, why would it be? Let's go yeah, back that, to that, the that actual. That topic. Actually could be interesting. How would that be a good one video punch, game? One punch, one punch man will be, I think, a good video game. You're it, just playing as someone trying to fight Saitama. <laughs> <laughs> it, again, like the mechanics of the game, because he's like obviously so strong. Mm. I'm like, it could be really fun. And when I think of One Punch Man as like a game, I think of like like a Spider Man two. Mm. I think of like a game where if you nail the mechanics of like, thing I don't like like <laughs> the Spider-Man 2 game Spider-Man 2 oh okay 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 or Spider-Man, no, yeah, two. Spider-Man 2, two game yeah. two, two is the, good the one. one that had the really really good mechanics that everyone who has ever played yeah. remembers if you could like nail the mechanics like that where you could power him up and be able to move through the environment fluidly mm. to where it's like super fun and that's that in and of itself is just addicting where you want to do that for several hours long mm. that would work because like if you, because you haven't seen the show he's like like super chill, super nonchalant, and he's just kind of like laid back. But like, it's the funny. The funny thing is, like, some of these greatest, strongest demons will like try and kill him. Yeah, mm-hmm. but he'll he just, like, just, he'll just does the... like, He'll do that, and then that's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that. And then he'll like he'll basically like like wave his fist, and then they'll just like die. They'll just Jeez, like, he's that strong. Yeah, like, God tier. See, like, but what would be the the challenge in the game though? See, here here's where I think this could so go. So strong is instead of making it, you know, like a Spider-Man two and like combat based game, yeah. it's a timing based game. Like you have, or say, um, like someone's trying to attack you because uh, it's Saitama. You're just trying to like grocery shop, mm-hmm. and it's you have to like get so far before. <laughs> so like quick time? <laughs> would it be like a quick time, or are you just timing of you need to do this like, before? It, yeah, like you have to uh, like get so far before like he gets annoyed and punches and then freaks everyone out because some dude just exploded in the middle of the grocery store. So was like, them throwing a carton of milk in a grocery store would probably result in leveling the grocery store. And all yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I just think, yeah, I think you could do a lot for comedy with that if yeah. you made it into a game. I definitely like that as like, for example, like a... So not necessarily a serious game, more of a this is fun. See how long you can do this. Yeah. See, I would like that, but I would like the serious aspect in there. I would like the like maybe like as he's that. training. Yeah. I think he could do that. I think yeah. once he gets to like that end game point, mm-hmm. though, because I mean it's never. But th- what I'm thinking of is obviously going to be something that's very mission heavy. Mm-hmm. So like uh, Spider-Man Two or A, if we're going to like talk about like Assassin's Creed, for example, another game that's like in the same realm as Spider-Man Two, where you like navigate the environment. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of sub missions and stuff. A lot of sub stories. Um. Like, it's very mission-heavy, so it's kind of grindy. Mm. So that would not maybe be appealing to everyone who's not into having, like, a continuous uh, narrative throughout the game. Yeah. But I still think it would be a really fun game. If they nail the mechanics down, I don't think it's a game that you'd be able to charge, like, 60 bucks for. But if it's, like, a $30, $40 game... I would, I, I would say... That's maybe like a, just a twenty dollar. Yeah. Just something on the on yeah. the PlayStation like Store a, or Xbox Network. Like the Legend Network. of War game that came out a few years yeah. ago. Something something that's small. It's fun for yeah. the price. So yeah. Right. Like that. that makes sense. Yeah. Um. You guys have seen the Hunger Games, right? Yes. I have. 
I, I, I know what it is. I've seen okay. Battle Royale. I, I mean, it's technically a book first. It's a book first. Yeah. I think that could be really cool. And especially if you actually picked between the characters, like, oh, mm. I want to be Katniss or PETA. Or I want to be the, the person group. I know who dies. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> well, no, but then the, your mission is to not make them die. Like, it's, it's the game is you're fighting all these people and you're fighting to survive and mm-hmm. you have to kill all these other people. So you'd want it to be like, to, take, know, place, it, to take place like in the first one, but you're in the Hunger Games? Yeah, so it's like, it's not like you're actually in the Hunger Games, so it's like, it's very, you'll have to do stealth and survival skills and mm-hmm. killing people, so it's kind of that combination of a bunch of things, and I think that could work out, it would be really what's, cool. So, so like, what style of game would you want it to be like? <laughs> like, comparing it to something else? Yeah, comparing it to something, because I'm kind of curious to... Think about Last of that. Us? Like, really hardcore survival? See, I would, well, I yeah. would want... Well, not, not... Want. No, go ahead, what, what is your opinion on it? I would say... Take the Last of Us like mechanics and mm. put it in something else. I don't know what though. Well, I'm just saying, like just the aspect of it, yeah. where you have to, you know, hunt and like, yeah, get and surviving. grind everything and survive. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't put it during the place of during the time period of the books, though. I would put it the earlier. Yeah. Because then you I, you raise the stakes so much higher. Because you, if you're working with characters who you know live or die, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, it's a good licensed game, sure, but you know what's going to happen with it. If you're just playing as someone who you yeah, don't how, know who they are. How many Hunger Games? That was like the but, 70th one that they yeah. ran when the yeah. movie came out? Yeah. So let's go back to like 30 or something like that. That, yeah. would, like be, when, that would be really cool. Yeah, And then you that's could true. maybe even have like a... So it may be just the idea of a Hunger just Games. Just the idea yeah. of not it. Just Instead of Hunger that Games. universe, because you can yeah. still, do, still do a lot with that universe and the ideology and stuff of mm-hmm. it. But I think if you you know have Katniss and the characters that we know in it... Mm-hmm. You're setting it up for oh well, uh, I know I'm not playing as Katniss and um, she's in this. I know I'm so. But then, die. so then, would your whole ge- I mean, but isn't so? Would your whole point of it be to just survive? So that's that's the game. If you're you, describing you the still, way to, you could still tell a story, maybe like a failed rebellion. Okay. Like before. Failed re- okay. You know, you can do something like that with it. It's just, I, I think, if you, if, if you, you, if you it, know the stakes of it already. Because if you took it at the place that it is, you are rebelling, and maybe you try to go rebel in a different way. Maybe they would have to rework it, so it's not mm. like, oh, well, obviously this happens, see, and this see, person dies. By going back, like, let's say we took uh, Haymitch, for example, mm. and we went back to, like, his Hunger Games, and we told the story of, like, the build-up to him getting chosen, to him going into the Hunger Games, his experience in the Hunger Games, and you did that, like, in a Last of Us style, for example, and mm. then you had it where it was like that was a narrative throughout the entire story and it was like maybe like a 15 20 hour game mm. like that that interesting see me but don't you lot. have that emotional aspect too but when she volunteers for her sister mm-hmm. and then she's leaving all these people behind it's that emotional pull it adds to that story though but see, that's that, the only thing that, that makes it so much more compelling because we don't know everything about so like we don't know if he was in like some type of romantic relationship with someone who ended up oh. not making it out. But like you're right. Cool I mean that's thing. true. You you know what's going to happen to those characters. You know he's going to make it out, and you know you get the you get the sad but mm. awful. So basically, we're happens. taking that world and making and a, making something new. Yes. yes something okay. New with that's I mean that's cool too. That, so, that interests me a ton. Yeah. Cause that I think would that's be really the biggest cool. problem with a lot of licensed games, like you know movies, games, shows, games, is that they take storylines that we already know, so we know what happens. With yeah. Them. So it's the same thing. Yeah. The only problem is, is again we're talking about something that. And then if you change it too much, people get pissed. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But, I mean, like, if... But that's the thing. We're talking about, like, let's do Hunger Games, but, like, Last of Us inspired. How many years would that take? And, like, who's willing to sink that much money into it? And then Someone so could, I'm not because it's, it, cause it's a known but, property I, 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 and a good developer. It's going to make money. Yeah. That's true. But and it doesn't have to be, like, as intense and mm-hmm. as The Last of Us is with the budget... You know, it's just gonna no. be inspired from it. Inspired from it. Yeah, yeah just that, just the that style where it's that focus on survival. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I love that because then you can. It's almost like a horror game too. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, like you're you're hunting and you're in the Hunger Games, and then like who knows what design they used in the thirtieth one? I didn't read the book, so I don't know. Maybe they did talk about it in the books, but like it could be it could be like way more savage than it was in the mm-hmm. like the second one, for example. Yeah. The second one I thought was pretty crazy, with like the poison and the spinning rotating uh, mm-hmm. chamber, like. But it can be way worse than that. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, that's super cool because then you can just, like, throw all this stuff out there. And, I mean, you're mm. bringing the, uh, the uh, author back to maybe, like, yeah. flush some more story out. Exactly. Like, like yeah, I'm interested in that. I mean, I, on that subject, maybe just books to games or and, and movies as well, that there's a lot of backstory that goes with it that we don't know everything for yeah i think harry potter could be work really well for it too harry like, potter is a game but i'm talking before 
where it's oh, like uh, before, the, before Harry Potter, before Harry Potter, yeah. like the original war with Voldemort, the first yeah. war. I think that'd be super interesting because you know cool. you're familiar with the characters and you know what happens to some of them. Was it so much of a war? Or was it just it like was a it was a war? Shit? It, 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 it they, was they, a war. they call it, that would be really cool actually war. to see. Yeah, I think that'd be really and interesting. And the fans would love it. Yeah. Oh my God, that would I mean, print people money. People are thirsty for Harry Potter. That, that movie mm-hmm. this year is going to easily break a billion. People are just thirsty for mm-hmm. Harry Potter stuff in general. And if we're talking about, um, you know, games that m- might not necessarily be a reenactment of that thing, it's like I think it follows could be really cool. Not not to have a sex part, but like the the atmosphere you could create if somebody yeah. they're just walking towards you and it's like you have to get shit done mm-hmm. before they get to you. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh my god, there's somebody always following me and that that created such suspense in the movie that if that was a game, I would be so freaked I think out. It, I think they're walking too. So it's like, not like like Slender. I mean, that's the whole premise of why people got scared of Slender. Exactly. There's and nothing just, there's nothing really scary about it, but up. it's just yeah, the feeling of being followed. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that reminds me of like uh it follows reminds me kind of like a heavy rain or a beyond two souls inspired mm-hmm. game. Yeah. Where like you can do something really cool with faces and have like that really good uh face animation mm-hmm. and then like put you in like a like a like a public spot and mm-hmm. you don't know what there is like the actual yeah i mean you know what it's like you're in a public spot you have to get maybe you have to get your this mission done before Mm -hmm. and then you finally and you see all these people around like you have no idea which is the the one that wants to follow you Mm -hmm. like that that would be so cool and like and then then you start to see someone coming towards you and it's like oh my god Mm -hmm. and then the next mission it's not going to be the same person Mm -hmm. yeah so then you end up always changes a ghost (laughs) so (laughs) <laughs> I, I mean, what if you killed the wrong? Like, oh god! It's I just, just like, <laughs> issue with a tidbit of that movie, and that's the uh, pool scene in that movie. Yeah, it's the, the ending. The ending wasn't that great, yeah. but overall, but everything no, overall, else, overall, yeah, fantastic. One of my favorite horror films. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love one horror. I love that's yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from that. I just love that movie, and I love that. That's my favorite horror film as well. Yeah. So, 